हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डेंटिस्ट्री टू द पॉइंट दिस इज डॉक्टर द्रोमिल मानिक सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सीरीज ऑफ डिजीजेस ऑफ बोन्स राइट सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑस्टियोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्ट नाउ दिस इज अगेन अ कॉमन एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिगार्डेड टू शॉर्ट एंड लॉन्ग आंसर इन द फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन सो ऑस्टियोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्ट वॉट डज इट मीन What does this word osteogenesis and imperfecta mean? Osteogenesis means something which is leading or some process of bone formation, and imperfecta means it is imperfect. So that means there is some defect in the process of formation of bone. Now it is an hereditary autosomal dominant, or it can also represent as autosomal recessive condition. And sometimes some non-hereditary forms of osteogenesis imperfecta are also. seen so there are various names or various other names like brittle bone disease or fragilitas osseum osteosclerosis and lofstens this is these are the other names of this condition so you have to remember this other names also short note or fill in the blanks can be asked as lofstens disease so you need to be aware of this now as i said hereditary autosomal dominant or recessive or sometimes non hereditary forms so there will be defect in the mesodermal tissues which tissues there will be defect in the mesodermal tissues in the type 1 collagen there will be abnormality in the type 1 collagen of mesodermal tissues now this type 1 collagen is found in various parts of the bodies like bones mainly then we have organs various capsules fascia cornea sclera tendons meninges and dermis so these are the various areas in which this type 1 collagen is formed now there will be abnormality of type 1 collagen which will directly lead to fragility and fracture of bones right so the bones are going to become fragile so what is the main uh, understanding between this that osteogenesis imperfecta is an hereditary or non hereditary condition affecting mesodermal tissues with abnormality in type 1 collagen leading to fragility of bones now which gene is responsible for this which mutation right so you will be asked in competitive exams also that col 1a1 that is collagen 1a1 or collagen 1a2 gene is responsible for which defect right so collagen 1a1 and collagen 1a2 there will be mutation which will lead to osteogenesis imperfect and now due to this mutation on this genes there will be two things there will be first a qualitative defect second is a quantitative defect now what is the qualitative defect it is in regards to the quality of bone formation what is the quality of bone formation that will be degraded right same way quantitative defects means the quantity of bone formation will be reduced so there are both qualitative as well as quantitative defect seen in osteogenesis imperfecta there is also some relation some superficial relation of osteogenesis imperfecta in relation to dentinogenesis imperfecta which we have already discussed you guys can watch that video also so there are mainly four types of osteogenesis imperfecta according to the classification given by silens in 1979 so the classification given by silens et al in 1979 divided osteogenesis imperfecta into four types that is type 1 2 3 and type 4 now this type this all the four have some differences and some clinical features which are different among this so we will discuss further about the clinical features histology and radiographic features of osteogenesis imperfecta so next moving on to the clinical features of osteogenesis imperfecta so before we divide the clinical features into four categories that is by silens et al classification into type 1 to type 4 we'll just have an overview of the most common clinical features associated with osteogenesis imperfecta and then we'll study each category separately so starting with the clinical features firstly there will be fragility as well as porosity or poreness seen in the bone the quality of the bone will be such that the bone will be fragile that means it can break easily and it will be porous in structure now which will lead to fracture of 
bones. Now this fracture of bones will is going to heal fast. It will not take time in healing. But the quality of bone which was present before is going to remain the same. That means the again the bone will be fragile and porous. So again the fracture will occur. Now the type one and type four osteogenesis imperfecta is mainly seen in infants. The infants are more commonly affected. Type two is seen. in utero and type 3 is seen both in utero and neonatal half of the cases are in utero and then half of the cases are affecting the neonatal age group right so there is no uh, specific gender predilection seen amongst the uh, cases of osteogenesis imperfecta now in the case of type 2 and type 3 osteogenesis imperfecta if you take a prenatal ultrasound of a mother right you will see the child's leg the bowing of legs you will see you will see fracture you will see limb shortening due to this fragility and porosity is or porous bone there will be bowing of legs there will be fracture and limb shortening right so these are the bone related clinical features now what there is one more clinical feature which denotes or which is associated with osteogenesis imperfecta that is blue sclera so now this blue sclera what does it mean uh, in the introductory part i said that type 1 collagen is also present in some of the tissues in which we had sclera so if there is mutation in type 1 collagen the sclera is going to become thin and as well as the sclera will become thin the choroid which is present behind the sclera is going to show its color more prominently so the sclera will appear bluish in color so blue sclera is the clinical feature associated with osteogenesis imperfecta as well as there are various other conditions which are associated with blue sclera this is again an important point which is to be noted because it can be asked in mcqs in pre pg examinations also that blue sclera is present in which of the conditions right so it is osteopetrosis fetal rickets turner syndrome paget's disease marfan syndrome and eller danlos syndrome so you will be like sir you have given six of the names will get confused so i have a mnemonic for you guys that is m o t f o e now what does this m o t and f o e stand just listen carefully mutation of type 1 collagen m stands for mutation o stands for type 1 collagen leads to fragility of extremities right what does it lead it will lead to fragility of extremities that is marfan syndrome osteopetrosis turner syndrome fetal rickets and eller danlos syndrome and one you have to remember exceptional that is paget's disease right so this was about the blue sclera now apart from this clinical features there are other clinical features like deafness due to osteosclerosis there will be defects of the teeth which are almost similar which are seen in dentinogenesis imperfecta or hereditary opalescent dentin right we have a video on this you guys must watch this also then we have laxity of ligaments we have peculiar shape of the skull the bone remodeling would be such that there will be a peculiar shape of the skull and abnormal electrical response of muscle so these are some of the common clinical features now we we'll study type 1 to type 4 separately